Got ourselves quite a songwriter on Billboard's Hot 100 back on May 7th, 1960. And uh, before I give you the name of the artist, though, he, he's at number 88. His song is dropping, actually, from Billboard's Hot 100 after making its peak at, I'll get into the chart position in just a minute, some of the big hits that you might remember off this Hot 100. Well, we got Earth Angel by Johnny Tillerson at number 61 and uh, Burning Bridges. Remember that one? Gosh, a lot of people remember that. That's uh, Jack Scott. That's dropping. It's at 59 down from uh gosh down well actually i take that back it's on its way to number three it jumped from 88 to 59 that week of may 7th 1960 and uh adio mio by annette Fonicello. it's on this uh, hot 100 it'll have to stay by uh jenny black the uh response record to the jim reeves hit and Mountain of Love, the original version of Mountain of Love, made really big by Johnny Rivers in 64, but the original version by Howard Dorman is at number 36, week of May 7th, 1960. But let's go all the way down to number 88. Teddy Randazzo, Randazzo, The Way of a Clown. Teddy Randazzo, well, first off, the song was written by uh, Barry Mann. Barry Mann, who later teamed up with Cynthia Wilde, they wrote those huge hits in the 60s, those great records. Uh, hungry and you lost that love and feeling. Howard Greenfield also wrote this record. Howard Greenfield, Neil Sadaka's sidekick, songwriting partner, and uh, but Teddy Randazzo, he's written quite a few songs of his own. Team up, teaming up with a guy named Bobby Weinstein, they wrote Pretty Blue Eyes, which was a lovely record. Remember that one by by Steve Lawrence in 1959, and it's going to take a miracle. They co-wrote that one along with a guy named Lou Stallman. It might have been Lou Hallman, but I can't read my chicken scratch. I believe it's Lou Stallman. I just kind of scribbled things down on my notes. And uh, I was going to take a miracle covered by the Royal Yes, Royal Let's, rather, in 1965, but made into a much bigger hit by, Den by Denise Williams in the early 80s. And they co-wrote all those hit records, those mid-60s hits by Lil Anthony and the Imperials, Weinstein and Rendezzo, uh, I'm on the outside looking in. And there was, a, God, I'm still listening to the melody of that record going through my head. Going out of my head, they wrote that. And also, uh, Her So Bad, that 1964-1965 era. And uh, Rendazzo uh, started out in a group called the uh, Three Chuckles. Remember the Three Chuckles? They were featured a lot on the Ed Sullivan Show. They had a hit in 1954 called Runaround. He was an accordion player with the group, uh, the Three Chuckles. He had a few hits of his own. A uh, little serenade, not really big. Went to number 66 in 1958. Of course, he's got this lovely record. This this is a prom classic, really, at number 88, a slow dance record. Way of a Clown. It peaked at number 44. And that was probably his biggest charted hit as far as him singing his own, uh, as far as him singing is concerned. T Teddy Randazzo, Way of a Clown, at number 88 on Billboard's Hot 100, May 7th, 1960, spending nine weeks on the Hot 100.